So Sagittarius, in the recent past, we have the Nine of Wands. Now when it comes to love and relationships with the Nine of Wands, it's important to remember that no relationship and anything on earth can stand up to constant picking, nagging, pulling apart. So you would have needed to try to give your lover some breathing space. If you were single, uncommitted, and looking for a relationship, just understand that the time may simply not have been right for you then. You would need to ask yourself, are there things about yourself that you would have liked to change? This would have been a good time to get yourself whole emotionally, to get yourself whole together, so that when you are ready for a new relationship, that the person you attract into your life, they're also whole, they're also together. So at that time, it was important to not be in too much of a hurry. And that's with the Nine of Wands and it's paired with the Eight of Wands. Now, when it comes to romance, relationships, the Eight of Wands, you were probably feeling ready for a commitment that didn't seem to be forthcoming. Again, you must not push someone before they are ready. You can't get your needs met by force. So you would have needed to distract yourself if necessary and your lover would have been back to you before you knew it. And they would have been offering you the love you have been hoping for on a silver platter. That's once you distract yourself. And that is the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Five of Pentacles. Now this is not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to questions about love and relationships as you can see in the picture. You probably have your eye on someone who, who, who you probably feel is not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person. Now keep in mind this card can very much be a card of feeling left out in the cold. So it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. When love is right, just know that you will not have to do backflips to make it work. So broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive. You are a lovable person and you should know that. The Five of Pentacles is paired with the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands, it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego. While the other person that you're with, they're perfectly fine doing the boosting and the admiring. This is the fire of balance. You two feed off of each other energetically. You can expect a lot of sexual energy with this type of connection. There is passion in long nights spent in bed. And that's what the Six of Wands, that's what that does for you. Whoa. <laughs> and, then, and then with these two cards paired together, the Five of Pentacles, you're probably feeling left out in the cold. Someone who you have your eyes set on or someone that you're with, they're not treating you the way that they should. And being that it's there with the Six of Wands, you need this person or either someone is coming towards you or you're going towards someone else. This person, they boost your ego. Okay, and they're perfectly fine doing so. They like admiring you, they like boosting you up, they like giving you confidence, and you need this and you suck it all in. You two, you two are a perfect match. It provides uh, a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of passionate nights. Um, 
you feed off of each other energetically. Now this could be the person that's making you feel left out in the cold. This could be someone coming towards you. Or this could be a your, your side piece. <laughs> I don't know what your situation is, but um, it's a lot of passion for whoever this person is. Maybe uh, that's where you're headed. Uh, I can't tell you where this person is, if they're coming towards you or it's someone you know. Or like I said, maybe the person that you're feeling left out in the cold with. But at least you know the meaning of the Six of Wands. I wish I could tell you where this person is so you could find them. But um, that's what those two cards are paired together. And that's in the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. So if you're in a committed relationship and you get the Page of Pentacles, the relationship could possibly have lost some of its luster. Now keep in mind that does not mean it's the death. It does not mean it's the end of the relationship. It does mean that action and discussion is necessary at this time. Also to create change, you have to be honest about your feelings. If you are unattached and single and cannot seem to meet someone new, take a good, careful look at what you're holding in your heart. You, you're probably still attached to an ex, and you may need to let that go before you can expect to move forward. And that's what the Page of Pentacles, and, and the Page of Pentacles is paired with the Page of Swords. Now, when it comes to questions about love and relationships, Page of Swords, it points to conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Because many fights and discussions, they really are not worth having. As long as your partner is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her space. This is going to be crucial for happiness. If you are single, unattached, Get out there, socialize, mix and mingle. Love will not drop out of the sky. And with these two cards paired together, the Page of Pentacles, if you're in a relationship, it's lost some of its zing, it's lost some of its luster. Uh, it's not the end, you just need to have some necessary discussions. And being that it's pay, paired with the Page of Swords, uh, those necessary discussions, they're going to lead to conflict, okay? Uh, somebody's not going to be happy with that talk, but it's necessary. So with the Page of Swords paired with the Page of Pentacles, you got to have that talk anyway, but you got to be smart about it. You have to know when to push and know when to back off, okay? Because many fights and discussions, they're not worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect. And that's the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Four of Swords. Now with the Four of Swords, you could be feeling disconnected. Slightly disconnected or a whole lot disconnected. It is important for you to know or to let your partner know what's going on inside. But remember, your feelings, they're your own. Those feelings, they're your own. And it's not your partner's job to try to make you feel great all the time. It may be that you simply need some time apart. Don't hesitate to take it. If you're looking for a relationship or love at this time, now is not the time to push for it. You'd be better off getting very specific about exactly what you're looking for in a relationship. Because the time will come when you will meet someone. That time is probably not now. And that's the Four of Swords paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is an excellent, great card in the tarot when it comes to love and relationships. If you're currently committed, you can expect it to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If you're unattached and looking, this card, it tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be a new, meaningful, deep love is headed your way soon. So smile. With these two cards paired together, the Four of Swords, 
You may be feeling a bit disconnected at this time. Let your partner know what's going on inside. But it's not his job to make you feel great all the time. You might need to spend some time apart. It's paired with the Nine of Pentacles. After you spend some time apart, uh, you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy, which is a good thing. So you two just need, probably need some time apart. You need to pull yourself together, get, get connected with yourself again. You've probably been spending too much time focusing on the relationship or whatever is going on with you. But with the Four of Swords, you're feeling disconnected. As you can see in the picture, he's lying out in the snow, in the cold, or somewhere in the mountains. And he's just disconnected from, from a lot of things, or probably life, or himself. So once you reconnect with yourself, pull yourself back together, the, rela the relationship, it takes off to a, to a great new start. And it's going to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. So that's a good thing. And that's going to be the outcome. So Sagittarius, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.